Today, guys, we're going to be discussing how to start Town Hall 9. By the way, have you noticed any differences, any changes? I'll wait. Welcome, guys, to Gold Pass Clash. It is day 32. It is February the 1st, the first day of Season 2 of Gold Pass Clash. Yes, there will be 12. We'll talk a lot more about that here in a little bit. But welcome to How to Start Town Hall 9. Um, the season ended this morning at 2 a.m., and I have just received an insane amount of loot. This is the best way to start Town Hall 9, by the way. Crazy amounts of loot. We're going to be dumping it in. It's going to be fantastic. The uh, Oh, I got some free gems and loot from the, uh, <laughs> from the Gold Pass from last season. Okay, that's cool. And welcome to Town Hall 9. Yes, four days. We get the Hero Boost, Power Potion, uh, Resource Boost, and Star Bonus Boost. It is going to be an insane week. I can't wait. And weekend, actually. We're going to be dipping into the weekend. And what's changed? Something has changed. Oh, wow. Okay, I can exchange loot into uh, clan medals. It's going to cost me a builder in three days, so I'm not going to do it. But that's cool. This Town Hall 9 looks so good on Gold Pass Clash. Once again, it's day 32. Welcome to Gold Pass Clash. Here are the rules. And actually, I've changed it up because it's a new season. This is Gold Pass Clash. The mission is to have one year of Gold Pass progress and see how far we can get. The rules are never let a builder rest. <laughs> uh, uh, focus completely on Gold Pass Clash. So I'm not really playing any other accounts. And number three, use code Klaus because that's just the thing that you should do. If you guys buy the Gold Pass, by the way, don't forget to use code Klaus. That gold code klaus not gold klaus gold klaus sounds really cool though so that's the first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna buy the gold pass Ooh, that beast king skin looks freaking sick okay we're gonna get the gold pass but before we buy it go into the shop make sure the little white c on the top right hand side su says supporting klaus or somebody make sure you're supporting somebody with this purchase guys it's just it doesn't cost you anything extra it doesn't really benefit you besides that warm fuzzy feeling down below and it's a blessing to other people when you do that so thank you for doing that if you do that let's go ahead and buy this here gold pass 4.99 plus i get some bonus points why ah i get the bonus points because i bought the gold pass last season oh that's cool okay so 4.99 definitely an amazing way to spend five bucks if you enjoy this game hey guys klaus of the future um while i was editing i actually have Notice this white C here with the green check mark. That's pretty cool. That means that I'm assuming that if you don't have the green check mark, you could actually click that white C right there on the gold pass screen and input the code right there. So shout out to Supercell for making things easy. Purchase is all set. Absolutely amazing. Very, very nice. And that means that I should be getting um something i should be getting something yeah i've got points yes okay so i'm going to claim my one gem donation i'm going to get my 10 percent builder boost you don't want to do any new town hall stuff or any upgrades until you at least get that 10 percent. i'm going to collect my training boost as well my research boost and a bigger season bank that is an amazing way to start off the season okay so how do you start town hall on guys well clearly number one priority is going to be the laboratory right and for some reason i'm missing it there's the laboratory so i'm going to upgrade this year laboratory immediately okay 720,000 elixir i've got 31 million baby that's no big deal but i'm also going to use this book of building i got this in the last uh clan games and the reason why you want to do this is because the power potion that you get for four days is dependent on the laboratory level so i'm going to pop this ability upgrade now uh so that we have maxed out troops bam there you go. Now, I see that there is still a lightning spell upgrade going. That's fine. Uh, the power potion makes me seem as if I'm maxed out. And so that's cool. Uh, once this is done, I will start my first research progress project, which will probably be the barbarians or the archers to help the hero's ability. Um, and more on that in a moment. But the most important thing here, guys, is to understand that at Town Hall 9, you will finish your laboratory before you finish your buildings i've done the math it looks like it's going to be something like a month month and a half or so before we finish but the the lab will finish before the builders even if you have uh, five builders like i do your builders will not be done before your lab so it's, there's no reason to rush your lab you, you want to rush them equally if you do anything but but you know, uh, there's no sense in rushing the lab. So I'm not worried about that, this upgrade not being done just yet. And let's now talk about the queen. Yes, the queen. Uh, she is a level, uh, level, no, a zero second upgrade, 9,000 dark elixir. And watch this as soon as we get her. And of course, I'm going to need to put her in a spot where I can actually put her. Uh, once we actually get her, bam, she is level six. That means that I just gained 
a lot of DPS on the base immediately. That is an, a no-brainer day one priority when you go to a new Town Hall level. Especially Town Hall 9, because that's the only one you get the Queen, right? <laughs> Let's get the new storages and collectors and mines as well. I've got three builders to work with, so this should be relatively seamless. Um, all of the new stuff that's not going to require hours to do, I'm going to go ahead and do them now. Uh, so there's my storage and my collector. I don't think you actually get new upgrades. I've actually started a preparation for my Town Hall 9 upgrade guide, like the official upgrade guide. So be watching for that. Hopefully I'm able to get it out tomorrow, um, just so that I know what to do going forward, because... I don't even know. And by the way, if you are just now tuning in, and this may be your first episode of Gold Pass Clash, you'll notice that I did rush slightly. And the reason why was because we have an insane amount of loot, and um, I, I had nowhere to put it on my Town Hall 8. So I had to I had to make room. And uh, Town Hall 9 at least has wall upgrades that I can dump, a wall, uh, dump loot into. Otherwise, people will just be stealing it from me. And that's not cool. And I don't want to buy a shield. That's lame. So I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. So <laughs> Giant Bomb... And what else we got, guys? We got lots of defenses, but they're all several hours, so I'm not going to worry about them. Seeking air mines, we get two of those. That'll help out with those dang dragons or those dang healers, because you know queen charges. And uh, that's it. Okay, so that is all of the new stuff that's not immediate, all right? Or that that is immediate. So now, what else should we upgrade at uh, day one, hour number one of Town Hall 9? So here are the major considerations, heroes, obviously, but also the spell factory, which this will unlock the jump spell and the free spell. So that's really, really huge. The problem is it's a long upgrade and gold pass will give me a 15% uh, discount probably by the end of the week this week. So maybe I should do shorter upgrades for now and then do the big ones later when I can save some more time. The other things to consider are the dark spell factory, which will unlock the hay spell and you get another upgrade with that. That'll unlock the skeleton spell, so we need to focus on that for sure. We have army camps, which gives you bigger armies. You always want to focus on that. Barracks will unlock the baby dragon, which is huge. I love the baby dragon. And the dark barracks will unlock the witches, and then you can upgrade that again and unlock the lava hound. So that's really huge. Uh, we got to get ourselves some Lalo, some Lava Loon attacks in this series. And what else? I thought there was one more thing. Oh, yeah, duh, the top one, the clan castle. Yeah, we need to upgrade this clan castle and unlock five more troop capacity. That is huge. It doesn't give us another spell storage capacity, unfortunately. That would have been super cool. So since I am going to wait a little while before I get those big upgrades, just because of that discount, you know, it's going to save me lots of time, lots of loot. Um, so I'm going to be working on gold, uh, gold pass stuff like off camera, getting as many points as I can to unlock that 15%. So until then, you know what? It never hurts to start getting the new defenses early. And I'm going to start doing that. So I'm going to get the new air defense. That's a no brainer, right? Air defenses are key. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. That's a two and a half hour upgrade. And before we um, do any more upgrades, I want to use this queen in her very first raid. And then we need to talk about what we're going to name her and all kinds of cool stuff in this series. So let's go. Let's smack a base and wreck, wreck somebody. Since today's a brand new town hall day, it's going to be a long video without the comic question of the day, but we will be answering a comic question in the next regular video. So if tomorrow's the upgrade guide, we'll do a comic question in the video after. But um, guys, just to just just to. To, to talk about the elephant in the room, yes, this is a new uh, celebration of season two, the background, and we're going to be doing, to celebrate February, season two of Gold Pass Clash, we're going to be doing giveaways of some of these items sponsored by Supercell. I've had these giveaway codes for a long time. You probably remember them from previous videos. Uh, I've still got quite a few of them, so be watching for little white codes that will pop up randomly on the screen during videos. I don't know how many per video. Maybe zero, maybe three, maybe nine, maybe just one. I don't know. And if you see that code, be sure and use the link in the description to the redemption website on Supercell's website and uh, input the code. And then um, if you're the very first person to input the code, then you will win the giveaway. We're going to be doing this throughout the month of February because remember, February is, um, yeah, it's the month of uh, Valentine's Day. So, hey. Uh, it's the month of love, right? It's it's my it's my way of showing my love to you guys. So happy happy early Valentine's Day, even though that's a long time from now. All right, I found a base. It's a Town Hall ten, but I've got Town Hall nine level troops, baby. Let's go! All right, so uh, yeah, like I said, be watching for the giveaways. It's going to be absolutely epic. All right, so uh, giant uh, giant uh, golem. 
please and thank you. Get in there and drop some drop some big uh big three stars on people. So king, queen, let's get a couple of wizards in there and the CC bowlers, which are actually I think I'm gonna get better bowlers in the future, which is awesome. So drop that rage spell. I'm gonna poison over the Valkyries, uh, poison over the Queen. And can I drop a wall breaker? I don't know if one raged wall breaker would go through these walls, but I'm really curious to see what happens. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it did. Wow. That was nuts. Okay, okay. Let's keep the queen alive and let's send these hogs forward. Okay. Um, there's a lot of splash damage, so I'm going to go ahead and put down the heal. And oh, by the way, um, new color on the mic too. We went pink because it's Valentine's Day. I know. Not, not the greatest. Oh, and the first queen's ability. We're not going to be able to do many of those because once that power potion is over, if she's not level five, we won't have an ability anymore. But um, yeah, celebration, right? Yeah, this uh, this deck strategy doesn't work super great against Town Hall 10s, but hey, it's still doing something. And I'm going to try to focus on getting... I'm not getting any loot. I just really... <laughs> <laughs> I'm attacking to showcase the queen. That was what that attack was about. Because I definitely didn't um, have any storage capacity for loot. <laughs> I'm wasting hundreds of thousands of loot. I'm so sorry. Somebody out there really needs this loot. And I'm totally just trashing it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's it's okay. It's going to be okay. I don't know why, but it will be okay. I promise. So, <laughs> terrible attack, dude. Did not go well. But uh, it's because I was shocked that my queen just existed, right? I have a queen now. What I want to do, and let me know if you guys like this idea, is showcase queen charges at every five levels of queen. Um, so level 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. And I also want to, um, besides that, keep the queen and the king upgrading 24-7. That's kind of my goal. So I think that'd be cool to see how queen charges go at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. Maybe on like a max nine. That way we all get like an idea of when a queen charge is a good idea. Because I've always heard like, yeah, you should wait till certain town hall levels. That may or may not actually be good advice. I don't know. So, okay, let's go into the progress base. Dang it, I've got to place all my new buildings. Okay, I'll have to reorganize my progress base later. But right now what I wanted to do was see the walls. Because yes, we have loads of loot we have to spend before we log off today, okay? Just before we log off today, I have to spend how much loot? 50 million loot? It's crazy. So let's go ahead and just equalize the two numbers, right? I'm working on the new walls first just to just for there we go. Okay, so the numbers are now equalized at 26 million loot. And I'm not going to be able to spend all my dark elixir. Just I just won't. I'm I'm going to try, but I'm not going to be able to. So, um oh my goodness, this is going to be insane. So, how many walls do you think we can upgrade today? I'm thinking we're going to go all the way through level 9 walls and then be starting on town hall 10 or level 10 walls because you get two two levels at uh, town hall 9. So, let's go ahead and do one with gold, one line with the elixir, another line with gold. Another line with elixir. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. That was that was half of my walls. The next one's more expensive, obviously, but like that was half of the wall upgrades I needed to do at Town Hall 9. Gold pass is OP. This is insane. Okay, what about what about this? Oh wow. 7.9. How much can I hold? 6.2? Okay, so we're good. <laughs> 7.9 million gold into walls. 7.9 million elixir into walls. I'm still above capacity. Barely, but I still am. Okay, hold on. Let's do um let's do one with gold. And okay, two with gold. How much are these walls? These are cheap. 180,000? Wow. Yeah, I know you guys are watching looking at those wall rings going, Klaus, why aren't you using your wall rings? The wall rings are worth a million a piece. There's no point using wall rings until you get to a point to where your walls are at least a million a piece. Otherwise, you're just wasting loot. All right, so, gosh, this is crazy. Um, Six million. Let's see, how much is this? This is only 1.8 million. I'm going to spend... Look, uh, my, my treasury is pretty much maxed out right now, guys. My measure... Okay, it will be. Once I get this star bonus, this 4x star bonus, 1.8 million. I mean, I'm not going to struggle with loot. So I'm going to spend all of my loot today. I'm going to spend all my loot today. All of it. Except for the Dark Elixir. So let's go ahead and select that. There we go. This is insane, dudes. This is absolutely crazy. So we're going to... Oh, come on. Little bitty, teeny tiny little wall details. One and two. And there you go, guys. That is all my gold. 
<laughs> it was crazy. All right, let's spend elixir now. Why not? I mean, I'm gonna have. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have several builders in the next couple of minutes. I'm gonna want to do something with it. I got loads of loot in the treasure. I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay. So this entire wall. No, I can't do the entire line. Let's let's separate that out. 4.86 million elixir. Oh my goodness. This is just dumb. Okay. <laughs> 1.26. Can you tell I'm having fun? Can you tell this is an enjoyable experience? Spending all the loot. Spend all the loot. There you go. Wow. Wow. Oh, I can do one more with each. Hold on, hold on. Bam. And bam. There you go. I've spent all my loot. I'm going to keep the treasury loot in preparation for actual builders. <laughs> now let's upgrade the king and the queen. So queen is 9,900 dark elixir and the king is uh, 15,300 dark elixir. We'll just keep on upgrading them. Can I maybe use a... I don't want to use a book of heroes on a on a 19 hour upgrade. Like that just seems kind of dumb to me. Plus the king is ahead of the queen by 10 levels. So really you should use your book of heroes on the queen if you use it at all. So forget that. Not going to do that. But both builders are now being used. And I wanted to see how far we got. And we have maxed out. We have maxed out 171 walls out of 250. <laughs> oh, this is just dumb. Okay. Well, uh, one last thing I wanted to do is I got an achievement. Yes. Uh, between episodes, I did finally rebuild the battle machine, which will get me to level 58, which is what that has been at this whole time. I'm not going to change it. 58 is where we were destined to be going into uh builder base. I've been working on things and I'm working on, uh, currently, uh, uh, this thing, <laughs> uh, try to get those upgrades upgraded, try to get the battle machine and, and all that so that we can get auto once we get to Town Hall 11, which is the earliest that you can get auto. So, uh, guys, uh, that's going to be it for me today. Uh, I'm going to, like, again, Town Hall 9 upgrade guide going live soon. I'm going to be working on new defenses and short, cheap, easy upgrades for now until I get at least the 15% discount. Uh, in Gold Pass, I'll be working on these various challenges and whatnot. By the way, this skin looks pretty beast. This skin looks beast because it is the Beast King skin. So if you guys decide to buy the Gold Pass, don't forget to use code Klaus. If you have any questions or comments or concerns about what's going on at Town Hall 9, post them down below in the comments or join my Discord server. That's probably better for communication with me and uh, can help you out. And... Don't forget to become a member. Click that join button or use that link in the description for extra added bonus perks like getting into my clan when it's full and um, 5v5 wars coming up soon and things of that nature. So check all that stuff out. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, this, this series just took a huge turn. I'm super excited about what February is going to bring. Tunnel 10 by February or by March? Let me know what you think.